I was trying to get on top of it for the most fierce camel photo shoot ever. And as soon as I got close to it, it turned around and went, Argh! Surprise, bitch, I'm back. It's Pheromone, now located in Los Angeles, and I am ready for All Stars 4. <sighs> wow, my life took a completely 360 turn since my season. I've really gotten to see a lot of the world, and I've really been able to, you know, absorb a lot of tact from other entertainers, and honestly, it's gaggy for sure. I definitely think I'm most remembered on season nine as being the kind of crybaby. I was always in the bottom. I never did good. I was never in the top. I never won any challenges. My favorite Fairmont moment is the reunion. Oh, you're a You Don't Love Me fan. I see what kind of girl you are. <laughs> So when I was on season nine, I definitely was not feeling competitive at all. But going into All Stars 4, I feel like I actually, you know, have polished my drag and my craft so well that I'm gonna fucking win this shit. And I am not going to, you know, be some scared little 22 year old that I was on season nine. It's, I mean, it's time to shine. I just wanted to prove not only to the world, but to myself that I could confidently and efficiently persevere, uh, you know, coming back as a grown ass mature spray tanned adult. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm, I'm, you know, playing to win, not just playing to play. Why be a nine? When you yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare say that again. I'm kidding. With this season, it's a little bit unexpected. I think a lot of people like to think they know what's gonna happen, but you don't know until you watch this. I definitely think there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of opinions and you know, that's okay. If you feel like your opinion needs to be heard online that badly, then just let us have it. Whatever. <laughs> well, there's, uh, of course, of course, it's not a drag race season with Farrah in it if there's not gonna be some tears. I'm such an empathic person, but I'm also such an emotional person. And I feel like it does more bad than good to hold in your emotions. I feel like it's better to just let them out when you can. So you're definitely gonna see, you know, a couple of tears or two. Oh, Pheromone deserves to be in the Drag Race Hall of Fame because my whole life I have been such a fighter and I have overcome every kind of adversity you could possibly imagine. Every horrible thing that could happen to a person has pretty much happened to me and I will never give up. I will never let the world take me. I will always take the world. And I think with that kind of mindset, regardless of if you win a crown or not, you're a winner in life. <gasps> oh. Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.